Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley Sage, this is Ashley Sage Esoterics and we're back with Fairy Chats number eight. We did take a little bit of break. We enjoyed our summer, we had fun, lived our best lives is what I'm gonna say. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> and of course I'm back with the Avalon Fairy. Hi guys. <laughs> so we wanted to of course come back with a really good topic and um, you brought in a really good topic this morning when you messaged me. So what is it we're touching on today? Yeah, so um, as always, we tend to pull some cards and connect with the fairies before we do these videos. And uh, today the fairies were very explicit about wanting to talk about us being initiated into a new phase of magic and the love of magic. Hey, Toad. <laughs> Just in case you did. <laughs> Since you guys can hear him, you want to make an appearance? Say hi, everybody. <laughs> um there's the love i was talking about um right <laughs> toad was here to symbolize it yeah um, definitely the magic is moving it's we're we're trying the world's transfiguring into a place where magic is easier to connect with and the fairies want us to know that their love and energy is around and that we can tap into that and more and more people are being initiated into it mm -hmm. so that's where we're going with today right. so We've noticed, uh, like I've noticed it a little bit in my life, like just connecting has been a little bit different. I'm sure you've noticed it. You've noticed it in people outside of um, like your close circle. So you've even had to like remind people about this, how beautiful those synchronicities are or the magical happenings. Like how did this happen? Oh, it's totally by chance. Most of these things aren't by chance. These are like things that are happening. These are magical events. These are magical connections, right? So everything kind of has its gentle meaning. And uh, one of the things that are happening is I know the fairies are trying to announce this more. And especially because more people are aware of what's going on and connecting to their spirituality more, which I am so in love with because it is so important. And your yeah. spirituality is just even just connecting to earth and honoring that. And I spent my whole summer pretty much outside. So I got to connect with nature. I was out on the water. I was out in the mountains here. So I just enjoyed and connected to it and spent time with you know, the animals and the outdoors and stuff like that. But we were even talking about how people are noticing um, the synchronicities, for example, like the angel numbers. Yes, yes. That's, that seems to be a big one for people at the moment. The, the yeah. sort of, they'll look at their watch or their clock and suddenly, you know, it's like 1818 on their 24 hour clock and things like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. they seem to be kicking in. Right, which is really like a blessing in itself. Some people think, oh, it's just happenstance or you know, I saw it yesterday, so I'll see it again today, or more aware, it's more in your vision. And that is a thing, like, because we are more aware of it, we're going to see it more. But this also means you are connecting to something outside of, let's call it the matrix, right? We are connecting to that magical energy, we are connecting to our higher selves, we are connecting to the fairy, the angels, whatever you want to call it, right? Whatever you connect to, that is what we're connecting to. So seeing those doubles, the triples, the quads, right? Or um, one of the things I've been seeing a lot of is the same number outside as inside. So like 838 or 949. So it's like what you're putting out, you're getting back. So it's that, like that infinity energy thing. And I'm like, okay, so things are happening, right? Yeah. Yes, yes definitely, definitely. And as you say, um, lots of people are trying to kind of claim that there's coincidence and things especially people who um as you say i've noticed people outside of my friendship my main friendship groups so people who don't really um believe in the same kind of things that we do um and they'll say they'll, they'll talk to me about these kind of things say oh i saw you know this or this happened to me and mm -hmm. you know, it's just a coincidence though like when i try to say well actually <laughs> it's not coincidence you know it's it's yeah it's something trying to connect with you. So the fact that even people who aren't necessarily spiritual are starting to see, and it's making enough of an impact in them to, for them to talk about it to someone else means that it's really, you know, starting to work its way deeper and deeper into people's lives. Mm -hmm. Right. It's making, it's more of an appearance. People are paying more attention. So this is the, um, you know, if we want to take it into uh, like the grander things, these are the spiritual awakenings. This is our timeline shifts. And uh, we were talking about timeline shifts today and I'm, ex I'm exhausted this week. Right. So one of the things about that is the timeline shift. So those are things we know of, but things we're not quite sure 
of what they mean. But synchronicities and the like, uh, the magical realm, whatever we want to call it, the the ethers, the quantum, make themselves more aware during these times with bringing you those angel numbers or creating that different alignment with your higher self. Right, you're manifesting, talking to a specific uh, friend of yours, and all of a sudden this person calls you, right out of nowhere, just like that. You're like, oh my god, I've been thinking about you for days, and of course, you know that's. The manifestation of it right so when people are clicking into the same vibrational level they kind of kind of come together and then they weave their energies together and that's what living in the magical realm the fairy realm is all about right this is our higher selves connecting to what we're supposed to yeah yes yeah absolutely absolutely and you know that that kind of thing because you'll often say uh, taking that example you know your friend calls you after you've been thinking about them and you'll mm -hmm. say oh i've been thinking about you for days and they're like oh yeah i, I you know i suddenly was inspired to ring you for X, Y, or Z reason. And, right. And that's exactly that meshing, as you say, it's, it's you know, you, you're manifesting it and then it, it pushes their higher self to say, oh, actually, you two need to connect right now for whatever reason. Um, right. You're on yeah. the same plane. You're thinking about the same stuff. Your energies are supposed to be together. Right. And sometimes that happens with people we don't want to connect to, but that's usually just like a little test. Right. You're like, do I want to connect to this? Right. But honoring those synchronicities, I think, is a big thing because when little things start to happen in our spiritual realm, if we're not as connected as we would like to be or we're thinking we're um, not connected as much as we would like, honoring it is really important because then those bring in more of the, the practices, more of the synchronicities start happening, more magical experiences start happening. So one of the things I like to do for honoring is just saying thank you, right? You notice like, you know, different animals in your backyard or all of a sudden you're seeing all these butterflies or these different, you know, depending on where you are, like it could be bugs, could be animals. All of a sudden you see something out of the normal in nature. You just have to say, thanks. You know, thank you, God. Thank you, source. Thank you, fairies. Thank you, rabbits, whatever animal you're seeing or butterflies, right? Giving yeah. thanks is a big one. And I do that all the time. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, when I'm on walks and things, I think people must, I often think I'm a crazy person because, you know, a butterfly will fly by and I'll be like, hello, Mr. Butterfly, how are you today? Thank you for, you know, the, the little dance you just did, you know, because they like to flit around. And mm -hmm. yeah, just, just as you say, that honoring, you know, it's, it can just be the little, the, the recognition, the fact that you have seen it and you re realize that it's a, a message for you because they're trying to get through. And, and as you say, the more you acknowledge that and thank them for it, the more they'll realize that you're happy to connect with it, you want to connect with it. And then the more yeah. the more connections they'll send, the more information they'll send. And it all starts to build then, because I don't know about you, but lately I've been having some crazy, crazy dreams. And then- yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're just crazy. And then I find that certain messages that are in those dreams happen you know, like I had one last week and, and it really mundane. It was like, you, it was just about um, going swimming. And then I found myself swimming. And while I was swimming, the, the, a sort of piece of the dream happened while I was doing the swimming. Um, you know, it's like, oh, okay. So that was a message. Yeah, thank you for that. You know, um, and the more you kind of get used to that, the more you can then use it. Whereas obviously where, when you're unsure what the message is, then, you know, it's, it's hindsight that helps you with it. But yeah, thankful for those things means that you can, you can start to put those things together and you can start to put your synchronicities together and see what message they're trying to give you. Or, you know, a lot of the time it's just to tell you whether you're on the right or wrong path. You know, you need to, you need to divert a little bit or yes, yeah. this is great. But um, sometimes they do have some big impactful messages. And if you, if you don't listen to the little things, then you you won't hear the big things. <laughs> oh, for sure, right? You got to listen to all the tiny little messages, all the big ones, and the bigger ones become more prevalent, more aware once we honor all the small things. Because you have to honor that process, right? We should talk about honoring and giving gratitude for your experience, right? And this is a hard one for a lot of people. I give gratitude in all cases, and I give gratitude for the not so fun experiences because the not so fun experiences create those really good experiences as well. Right. You're going to learn something from, you know, having a stressed out week, being too tired and still having to work. 
with me this week, right? I'm just so tired, but it's still like, I'm grateful for the fact that I am still working. I'm grateful for the fact that I'm connecting to my clients. I'm grateful for the fact that I can still live in my home, right? So having gratitude in those experiences is also another way of honoring that system and creating a bigger connection to that grand divine, that etheric energy and connecting to it, to the magic and having more of a magical connection within yourself and within your world is, you know, honoring it and giving gratitude for all those experiences, right? So being grateful for the big things, the small things, the not so fun things, right? Yes, yes, I absolutely agree with you there. Sometimes it's really hard to be grateful when the uh, not so good things are coming in. But again, as you say, you learn a lot more from those experiences than you do from the good experiences. Yeah. And as you say, those experiences then lead into good experiences. You know, it's, yeah. it's how you learn to make life better. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> They're definitely really important. Um, so with this and bringing in our our magic and like creating more of a magical connection should we pull cards and see what else we have to say yeah sounds good okay. yeah i love it okay we'll give a shuffle see what happens yes I think one just wants to come out. <laughs> okay, I only got one. Good boy. I haven't actually pulled this one for myself for like in any reading for a very long time. So he's like the adventure, the freedom, youth, like going, like just getting kind of into mischief, but like in gentle, playful mischief, which is needed in most people's lives because we all forget to have fun. We're just too worried about, you know, paying the bills and being an adult, working out, making dinner and all this stuff. Whereas like the boy, this is like our connecting. Sorry, here we go. This is like connecting to that magical fun, like hanging out, you know, building a rock fort in the nature, which I did a lot of, you know, like on my, all my adventures, I'd find these beautiful things on all my adventures, like in the water, you've, I would like stumble upon rocks or weird feathers or these crazy little bugs. I'd seen these bugs and, and this is in, close to home I've seen these cute little bugs that look like tiny little bees but they were gold colored and they had these tiny little little legs apparently they're um what do you call them they're like a bumblebee fly apparently I had to it took me forever to look it up but I had seen these cute little things they look like little little fairies I guess you could call yeah, them little fairy creatures. I was on a huge adventure most of my summer but this is going to be key going into winter as well Ooh, there we go into winter as well because it gets cold and we tend to hibernate myself included i just want to hibernate so connecting to magic over the next little bit of winter is just remembering those tiny adventures and freedoms and being youthful in our in our energy instead of just aging absolutely absolutely and that really does lead well into the one that i picked today so i've got the um the singer of the chalice and this is literally all about all the good positive feelings all the yeah. You know, joy, unconditional love, gratitude, as we were talking about earlier, all those positive things. And it's all about being open to those things. And one of the best ways to be open to these kind of good feelings is exactly that, being really playful, really enjoying yourself, you know, just not taking things too seriously. As you say, winter coming up, it can be difficult to get the energy up to do things. But, you know, yeah, that you need to take care of yourself and things a little bit. And the universe is providing all of this. So the fairies are really in this mood at the moment. They're going to give you everything. And you don't have to, you know, you don't have to try and recognize everything. You can just yeah. enjoy mm -hmm. what is going on. You don't have mm -hmm. to, you know, you don't have to get into specifics and, you know, overthink it too much. Just as with the boy, just enjoy it. Just go with it. Just Right. You have to create the adventure. For the adventure to happen right because if we're not making that space for it to happen you're living in a stagnant energy you know you can't sit on the couch and expect your life to completely change we have to go out and just do a little bit right do a little bit for it to manifest in and that creates the inspiration for more stuff to happen right i love my couch don't get me wrong i've been really tired this week but <laughs> but you know you got to create those different exp exp like ex experiences and 
live your life and keep it moving because we don't want to be a stagnant pond. We want to be that moving river. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. That's it. That's it. And just, it. just love it. Just, just, just enjoy. <laughs> right. Have fun. Live your life. Express it. And just wait for that magic because it is happening. Right. It's oh, happening. absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it's more and more happening now and it's more and more kind of, um, you know, ask and you will receive if you're if you're struggling if you need help you know s just talk to mm -hmm. whatever you connect with whether that be fairies like we we do or um you know dragon spirits which is another one i know that you connect with really strongly yeah. um, angels or whatever you whatever it is you connect with well just ask them just talk to them you know even if you've never done it before you know just just start talking. They are there. They're listening. They're trying to give you these positive vibes and they are coming through much more strongly at the moment. It's getting stronger and stronger. So it will, it will work. So yeah, oh, just, yeah. So, yeah go with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. Awesome. Well, this is a fun one. I think I needed this too. Oh, definitely. I really <laughs> did. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. All right. So I'm going to link all the information to reach the Avalon Ferry in our description and all the information to reach me. If you want any readings, you need any spiritual advice, any guidance, all the links will be in the description and feel free to support our channel with the bias coffee. And you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Have a great time. and We'll be, we'll be back again. We will. All right. <laughs> See you guys. See you all soon.